Okay, so we are recording. Okay, so starting with uh, reverse Superman, my favorite. I've got my little Please. five pound weights here. I'm gonna grab some two and a halfs. You want two and a halfs yeah. or fives? Yeah. So you need some light weights. Give me two seconds. Okay. You <laughs> Probably running up the stairs. Okay, starting with reverse Superman, 20 reps. Remember, you're gonna inhale to prepare. And then when you exhale, the, you'll draw the stomach muscles in, squeeze, roll, and reach. So what you're doing is you're waking up those upper back muscles. And by drawing the stomach muscles in, right, waking up that core. I'm on six. Lower body's nice and relaxed. Remember, reaching for your feet so you keep those shoulders away from your ears. I'm on 14, take your time. I've got two more. And one. Whew. Feel those triceps right away. Okay, side plank with knee touch. <clears throat> so on the side plank, you can do it with your bottom knee bent. This is a shorter lever, so it's a little easier, especially if you've got a shoulder issue or maybe on the first set. Otherwise, your leg is out all the way out straight. Feet are flexed, right? So you're going to come in, drop your hip, touch your knee to your elbow, and then bow up. Okay, we're going to go 15 reps. Make sure that bottom foot is flexed. Three. Got to mute you guys. I forgot to mute. Oh. So 15 on each side. There you go. I'm on 10. <laughs> yep, it's your own butt you have to lift. Yeah, it can't be that hard. It's yours. <laughs> Remember, whatever you do on one side, you want to do it on the other. So if you have to bend your knee on one side because of a shoulder issue, make sure you bend your knee on the other side. I've got five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. It's been a while since I've done those. I know. What, they don't do that in boxing? They don't do that move. <laughs> okay, so abs, you're gonna need a light weight. I wouldn't go any heavier than five. So you're gonna have my weight in my right hand. My right knee is bent, my left hand and left leg, left hand behind my head. I'm gonna touch the dumbbell to my shoelaces. 15 on each side. You're looking to keep that leg as straight as possible. Five, and you're actively reaching that right arm out. Let there be a little bit of a twist. You should be touching your foot. Uh-huh, five. Julie came over here and picked up the heavier weight. Four, she's trying to outshine the instructor. Three, it's okay, two, and one. If you're having trouble touching your foot, 
if you lift your torso first and then you lift your leg, you'll be able to get up. But if you lift your leg and then you try to get up with your upper body, it's harder. Okay, here we go. Other side, if you haven't started already. Keep that right leg as straight as possible. Six, dumbbells in your left hand. A little bit of a twist. I've got one more and 15. Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then twisted plank. Twisted plank. I love this one. So I'm just going to move my mat off to the side. The reason I'm moving my mat is they're kind of squishy and it's hard for me to turn my feet. So I'm just going to do the work on the floor. It's easier. All right. So my feet are wide enough so that when I twist, Right, and I'm on one side, my feet are separated enough. And it's the knee underneath that comes to the opposite elbow. And you'll give me a total of 20, alternating 10 on each side. It's important that you draw the knee up to the elbow and you feel the obliques on the side of the knee you're drawing up. If you're not feeling that, Slow it down, hold that elbow right there and pull that knee all the way up to it. I'm on eight because I'm slowing it down. Make sure you're on your side before you draw that knee up, right? So you're balancing on your side. I'm on 14, I think. Draw that knee up and 20. Whew. Okay, I'm starting to warm up. This is good. All right, coming back to the beginning, that reverse Superman. So maybe on this set, let's say you, ha you had to put your hands on the ground. Um, let's maybe do, when we do 20, do five without touching the floor and then touch the floor. Or maybe on this one, Focus on reaching, reaching for your feet. You'll feel your, your triceps more if you do that, okay? Um, and notice I didn't say go heavier with your weight. I wouldn't do that as your, to make it more challenging. <clears throat> okay, I, make sure there's no wrinkles in the back of your neck, so don't pick up your head, eyes down. When you're ready, inhale to prepare, exhale to lift. So for me on this set, I'm doing the reaching for the feet part. Because then I can really feel my triceps. Six. I'm on 10. I feel my left tricep, 15. And one. Whew. Yeah, that made a difference. Okay, obliques, right? So side plank. With knee touch, I'm gonna to start on my right side this time. Oh, I can feel the back of my arms. <laughs> um, feet are flexed, body in a nice straight line. And then this elbow here, the one you're on, you wanna put that right under your shoulder and then lift your rib cage up just a little bit, right? So get that rib cage up, okay. Arm is up when the hip is up, hip down, elbow to knee, 15 reps.
Remember, you could do this with a bent knee. I'm on nine. Bow that ribcage up. Ten. And one. Ooh, I think things are starting to wake up. That one felt good. It felt better than the last set. Okay, other side. Feet are flexed. It's really important, by the way. So they're not pointed. They're flexed. Elbow, right? Rib cage. Okay, here we go. Woo! Almost fell over. And I'm really trying to bow my rib cage. Six, when I touch that hand over my head. Eight. I have five more. Three, two, and one. Whew. That was good. So what weight are you using this time, Julie? You're gonna use, okay. She's, I've got the little baby two and a half. I'll admit it, I'm fine. I have, I, I'm secure with myself. I'm using the lighter weight than Julie. She's got the big ass seven and a half pounder. All right, we're gonna put your weight in your left hand first. Left knee bent. I've got my right hand behind my head. Right leg straight, 15. The little bit of a twist. Six, seven. Good, keep going, guys. Mike. You guys have probably already switched to the other side. <clears throat> what number are you on, Julie? Eight. Come on, Julie. Come on, big shot. And 15. Whew. Okay. I was trying to shut the blinds back there, but I can't figure out how to shut the blinds. <laughs> oh, okay, twisted plank. Make sure those hands are under the shoulders. You don't end up with your hands like out in front of you. So right up under your shoulders, just like a plank, right? Twist it, elbow to knee, or sorry, knee to elbow, I should say. I'm on 12. If you're behind me or ahead, that's fine. I got one more and 20. Whew. All right, guys, grab a sip of water. Sip of water. Just two rounds. We've got a lot of different stuff to do today. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab your little rubber band. And then we're gonna go um, mid-calf. We're gonna do the sideways walks with the jump. <clears throat> so remember, it's 
one, two, three, jump, right? And you should be able to stabilize, not just fall back into the next side. And then one, two, three, jump. You want your feet on 12 o'clock and your knees slightly pulled open. Also, when you walk, you don't want to be doing this with your upper body. You want everything to stay in one spot, not moving around, okay? Back and forth is one. We're gonna do those 10 times. Here we go. Two, three. I suggest staying a little squatted in the knees and the hips. And keep your feet apart. So you don't wanna bring them back together. Keep them wide apart even when you're stepping together. Is that four? Is that four? Yeah. Although I did one already, so technically, yeah. So then I'll just, I'll do more, because I can. That's, this is six. <laughs> one more, one rep later and she's already lost count. This is seven. Feel those glutes burning. This is nine. And this is 10, why are you laughing? Your feet are supposed to be on 12 o'clock, not 11 and one. And 10, okay. Then you're gonna move that rubber band above the knee, about an inch. You're gonna grab your stability ball and your light weights for shoulder raise. So we're going from glutes to quads, okay? So stability ball, here you go, Missy. Light weights, fives, seven and a half, one, I mean, whatever, zero, it's up to you. You want the fives? <clears throat> oh. Okay, so I've got my sacrum up against the ball, the ball up against the wall. My feet are a little bit in front of me, right? So that way when I go down, my knees go over my ankles. Five by fives. 20 reps, so down for five, four, <clears throat> three, two, and then hold. Five, four, three, two, one. That was one, got three more to go. One, two, three, four, and then hold. Five, four, three, two, two. You wanna make sure, one, that you're not rounded in your shoulders and back. Three, stick your chest out a little. Four, and five, four, three, two, three. Standing up, last set. One, two, three, four, here we go. Five, four, three, two, four. Good, come on out. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna take the rubber band. I just take one leg out and I stick the rubber band on the other side because my thighs are big enough to fit it. <laughs> okay, left leg out, right leg up, single-legged. Walking out to a push-up, do the push-up, walk back. Stand all the way up, bring your knee up this time. Knee up. That's gonna activate that glute. We're gonna do only five. When you're ready, go. Make sure you bring that knee all the way up. Don't fall over, Julie. So five on one leg, and then five on the other. If you need to, with that push up, you could go to your knees, 
Do the push up, come back to the foot. I've got one more. Once you finish, grab a sip of water, and then I'm gonna bring that rubber band back down mid-calf. And we will repeat that sequence again. Move my camera. There we go. All right. Same thing as before, so it's one, two, three, Hop and hold, one, two, three, hop and hold. That's one, do 10 of those. So 12 o'clock, your feet are straight ahead. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, I just untied my shoelaces. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I think I'm on five. Yeah, it feels like I'm on five. Try not to bring those feet too close together. Is this 10? Yeah. <laughs> and 10. Okay. Bring that rubber band back above the knee about an inch. Right, about an inch above the knee. Find your space on the wall. <clears throat> really important, like I said, to when you go down that you're not rounding your shoulders and your, your back, your chest is out, arms are long, shoulders pulled back. Okay, five by fives again. Here we go. Three. Four, and then you're gonna hold five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, and then hold five, four, three, two, two, two more, <laughs> one, two, Three, four, five, four, three, two, three. That's kind of fast. One, two, three, four, and five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Julie's whining. I don't know if you can hear it, but she's complaining just a little. All right, I'm going to take one leg out or take the rubber band off both. I don't really care. I'm going to start on my right leg this time. I started on my left last time. So remember, I want you to pull that knee up, right? When you go to stand up, foot flex, knee up high. Here we go. Five times. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> 
Yeah, bringing that knee up really changes that balance component. Yeah, these are nothing compared to what we did. What was it, last week? We did 10, eight, six, right? Three rounds. Maybe like 44 push-ups or something like that. Or 48 push-ups. Okay, water if you need it. One more round. One more time. All right, we're not doing that many reps. So let's get in another set. So I would say on this set, let's say a little bit more squatted, right? But squatted isn't like all rounded, right? Chest out, hips back, abs drawn in slightly. Feet, separate those feet, two, three, jump and keep them on 12 o'clock. And then that torso, right, nice and quiet. Three, is that three? Yeah, no, that's three. That's not four, this is four. No, this is five. <laughs> you be quiet back there. You're gonna mess me up. Yes, you are. Six. I know, right? It's burning. Eight. Eight, we have two more. Oh my goodness. And the last one. Woo. 10. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, bring that rubber band up above the knee again, about an inch. Ooh, I can really feel that. That's a good thing, that's muscles. Muscles is the only thing that hurt. That doesn't hurt when you move around. <laughs> nope, it's not the fat, it's the muscles. So there's muscle back there. Oh, there's hope. Yes, it's just insulated. It's very well insulated. <laughs> All right, I got my feet about shoulder distance and they're kind of in front, right? Here we go. And then holding for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, Julie. She didn't come up early. One, she knows better. Two, <laughs> three, four. And then hold, five, four, three, two, two. Two more, last set of these. One, two, three, four, and then hold, five, four, three, two, three, last set, one, two, three, four, and then hold, five, four, three, two, four, nice job. All right, you can go ahead and take the rubber band all the way off, you're welcome. <laughs> All the way off. Whew. Grab a sip of water. <sighs> okay. So, a little bit more chest. 
So today's gonna be chest, tries. Oh yeah, we forgot the push-up thing. Oh my God, I totally forgot. I was already thinking of like a head. I'm like, all right, yeah, the push-up thing. All right, you're welcome. That's what Julie just said. She said, you're welcome. Jill would have chimed in. She would have reminded me. Jill does not like to skip anything. I got all excited about the next round. I've got one more. I'm on number two of my second leg. Five. Okay. Now we can move on. <laughs> okay. You didn't need your mat, your ball, because we're going to start with hamstring bridge, um, doubles, singles, doubles, and then we'll move on to the ball um, in bridge, chest fly singles and doubles, then tricep, okay? Might throw an ab in there. So you are, have your mat, your butt. If you have a mat, like mine has like a little lip, I put my butt toward the edge so I don't have to roll over that edge of the mat with the ball, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, now we normally would do this with the rubber band on, but because we're doing single leg, also we've taken the rubber band off, okay? You could do it with the rubber band on if you wanted to make it harder, it's up to you. Okay, feet are flexed and they're about, like just about a few inches apart, okay? But they're flexed, they're not turned out or turned this way or that way. Um, I'm gonna use robo arms on the double and hands down on the single. Okay, my hips are off the floor just a tiny bit, right? It's in, push into the ball, up, down, out, 10 of those. Up, down, out, that's two. And I imagine three, that the ball has paint on it Four, and I'm painting a straight line. Five, now sometimes the ball gets away from me, so I'll climb back on it. Six, don't rush. Push into the ball, lift the hips. Seven, all the way. Eight, I've got two more. Nine, uh-huh, it already burns. And 10, good. Now I'm gonna put my hands down. My hips will touch the ground. My left leg is in the air. I want you to pretend you're balancing a glass of water on your left foot. You ready? Here we go. One, so you want that left foot to go straight up. Two, three. So you're not kicking it, right? Four, like that. You're going straight up the whole time. Five, and Julie's crying. Six, just a little tears. Seven, I don't know if you can hear that. Eight, nine, and 10, yes, that did hurt a lot. Here we go, right leg, you wanna get as straight as you can. Come on, Julie, no tears. One, two, your focus is that right leg. Three, straight up. Four, push into the ball. Five, with your left foot, push. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, that's got a little ugly at the end. Okay, hips off the ground, here we go. One, two. So for me, it's really getting that hip angle open, three. I like to cheat it, four, 
five, six, seven. You got those robo arms. Eight, it works the balance a little bit more. Nine, one more, and 10. You gotta love it. <laughs> She's looking at me going, no, no love, no love. All right, come on up. Whew, okay. Uh, what do you want for the single and doubles? You want seven and a half or 10? I'll do 10. Okay. So Julie's gonna grab the tens. So I'm gonna grab the seven and a half because that's all I got. So I can do 10, but I'm so nice. I'm letting Julie have them. You can't do 12s with singles. Okay, so you're having to seat on the ball. So 10 together, alternating only for 10. So that's five on each side, 10 together, okay? You're gonna roll out to head, neck, and shoulders. Make sure your head is on the ball. It's not hanging off the back. It's on the ball. Watch out for your water bottle. Feet underneath your knees. Ready? Opening for one and up. Two, three. You want your weights over your chest, right? Four, not over your face. Five, not over your collarbone. Six, the weight should feel a little light, honestly. Seven, because they won't feel light on the singles. Eight, nine, now go slow. Here we go, one arm, soften the elbow as needed and pull up, one. Nothing should move except for that arm, two. Not the ball, not your hips, three. Not the other arm, four. You gotta fight, slow it down, five. Six, watch that head is not hanging back. Seven, eight, nine, and here we go together. You really should have felt those glutes kick in on those singles. One, two of 10, three, push on your feet a little, push them into the ground. Four, that will turn on the glutes again. Five, and it should keep it out of your back. Six. Seven. Eight. I've got two more. Nine, when you're done, you're gonna stay here. 10, and then what I do is I put the weights into the palms of my hands, so I'm holding a champagne glass upside down, or right side up, one, and I don't wanna spill what's inside. Triceps for 20. Two, if you keep your weight separated, three, it's a little harder. Four, if it's too heavy, put your weights together. Five, the further back your arms are, six, when you extend, the harder it is. Seven, the more they're over your head, eight, the easier it is. Nine, so you choose. Play with it. 10, push on your feet now. Push on your feet, push on them. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, going to 20. Squeeze the arm straight. Three, oh my gosh. Oh, it's burning too, I like it. And one, how was the weight? Just good? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> All right, I wanna do an ab. Um, before we finish. So grab your mat, and this will set you up for the next exercise anyway. So you're gonna grab your mat, grab your ball, opposite arm, opposite leg. And I like doing this with the hamstring because the hamstring work, because it lengthens out the leg again. So you're using the quad. I don't know if you've noticed, we've been doing glute and hamstring, then quad on the wall, glute and hamstring, and then hitting the quad now again. So with those legs straight and you pressing up against that ball, it's gonna hit those quads. So if it bothers your neck, you can put your head on the floor, but you really wanna press into the ball. Okay, here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, 20 reps. Inhale, exhale as you lift. It'd be great if you could keep the ball four in the exact same spot the whole time. 
five. So it's not moving around like that, six. It's staying right there, seven. And that comes from eight, using the leg that's up there, nine, to push the ball into place, 10. 11, think of lifting your shoulder blades, 12. Your shoulder blades, 13. Not your head and neck. I've got four more. Three, two, one. Okay, that burned. Little things, pushing on the ball, straightening the leg, lifting a little higher. It's, it's marginal changes make a big difference. At least I think make a big difference. Okay. All right. Round two. Get this out of the way. Edge of my mat. You ready, Julie? She kind of cried earlier on this one. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to start with my robo arms. Here we go. In, up, down for 10. By the way, when you lift those hips, careful you're not like, um, like sticking your chin out. Three, keep your chin down. And for me, I'm on number five. I'm thinking about pushing with both my feet because that right leg is so much stronger. Six, that I've got to focus on my left side. Seven, otherwise I dominate it. The exercise eight with my strong leg. Nine and 10. This time, left leg in the middle, right leg holding up a water glass. Ready, Julie? Here we go. One, oh, I just spilled it. Two, there we go. Push into the ball. Three, don't forget the ball, right? Push into it. Four, five, six. I wish I was strong enough, seven, to keep my hips off the floor the whole time, but I'm not. Eight, not today. Nine, and 10. Switching sides. So you could see if you had the rubber band on that tension that you'd have to hold one with a rubber band on your thighs, two would add three to you being able to keep this leg straight, four, so something to think about, five, maybe we'll add that in next time, six, seven, push into the ball, eight, not just your shoulder blades, nine, good, now together, hips off the ground, one, robo arms optional. Two. Four. Five. Six. How are we doing, Julie? Seven. Oh, she's, I think she's speaking in tongues back there. Eight. <laughs> Two more. Oh, nine. Last one. And ten. Oh, oh. Not, your whole, she's, I, you don't want to know. It's, it's not a pretty situation in here right now. All right, come on up. Whew, okay, back to that chest fly. So seven and a half, maybe tens, but I'm seriously, if you're going to go up to 10 or past 10, past 10 pounds, you better not be moving that ball or that hip on the singles, right? Okay, so rolling out to head, neck, and shoulders. I'm gonna double check my feet this time, make sure they're under my knees. My weights are right up over my chest, not my collarbone, my chest. Here we go, inhale, exhale. That first rep, the first thing I do is press on my feet. Pressing on my feet, three. And those hamstrings are wide awake. Four, Julie's are actually weeping. Five, <laughs> six, seven, inhale, exhale, eight, nine, and now slow it down. Nothing moves except for that arm. Think of time under tension. If you spend a half a second longer in the rep, that's five seconds longer just in this set. That's time under tension. Five. 
I'm on number seven. If you're ahead of me, slow it down. Eight. I can really feel the glute and hamstring. Nine of that arm that I'm lowering. And here we go together, 10. Weights over your chest. Where are your weights? One, not over your collarbone, over your chest. Really stretch it open. Seven. Watch that chin. Keep that chin in. Eight. Nine. And ten. And then I'm going to put the weights in the palms of my hands. Arms as far back as I can handle. One. Two. Not touching my weights together because they're pretty light for me. Three. But by the time I get to 15, four, I can really feel it. And make sure you straighten all the way. Six. Open your arm, your elbow pits. Nine. Ten. I'm on 11. I'm gonna bring my arms back a little further. 12, because the weight is a little light now. There we go. Now I can feel it. Yeah, now I feel it. Five. Four. Three. And one. Whew. Oh, yeah. All right, come on out of that. Put the weights down. Grab your mat. Got my mat. So for me on this second set, you okay there, Jill? For me on this second set, um, I feel like I've got control of the ball and my leg is really nice and straight, but I'm going to try to lift my um, shoulder blades a tiny bit higher off the ground this time. So I'm just verbalizing that because like, where could you make a change where you could get a little bit more out of it? This is another one where five, time under tension, six, moving just a little tiny bit slower. Seven means you have to, eight will take you longer to do the set. Nine, 10, oof, 11. Yeah, I'm feeling those shoulder blades come off. 12, I'm on 17. And 20. Oh goodness, yeah, that, that made a little difference. I don't even know if they came up higher. It just felt like they did. <laughs> okay, so, whew. one more time. Three rounds. I've got my butt toward the edge of the mat. <laughs> just waiting for Julie to get her you know what together. Okay, ankles on the ball, my feet are straight. <sighs> So I'm thinking this set, what could I do? This set, robo arms the whole time? How about that? <sighs> Julie's like, <laughs> she's like, no. Two, how about just sleeping? You could just let rest. Three, yeah, so robo arms for me the whole time. Four, and then on the second set of the tens, you know, the last set of the doubles, five. I'm gonna make sure, six, I open my hips this much like I am in the beginning. Seven. I've got the straight line. Eight, I got the hips off the ground. Nine. And 10. Right leg on the ball, left leg holding the glass. Robo arms for me. One. Whoops, I almost dropped the glass. Two. I'm gonna press on the ball with my right foot. Three. Not just push into my shoulders. Four. Five. Six, I so badly want to just grab the mat, right? Seven, use my whole arm. Eight. Nine, oh my gosh. Ten, okay, that was a lot. Okay, here we go, other side. One, two, not letting that right leg swing, right? Three, it's just going up and down, not back and forth. Four, 
Just up and down, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on, use my leg. Nine, not just my shoulders. And 10, okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to get those hips open all the way like the first set. Six. But I gotta press on the ball. Seven, not just on my neck and shoulders. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Julie's whimpering. And ten. Oh, so happy those are over. Okay. Done with those. All right, come on up. We're almost finished. <sighs> So if I had a set of 10s, I'd grab them now. Oh, I need water. Because it's the last set, right? Okay. No. No, it's fine. All right, you guys ready? Rolling out to head, neck, and shoulders. And then I take a look at my feet before I set myself up on the ball. And then bring myself up. Weights over my chest. And give me 10 together. Two. Three. Four, over the chest. You guys know what to do now, right? Five. Press on those feet, guys. Six, I will turn those glutes on. Singles, when you're ready, slow it down. One, you should immediately feel those obliques, glute and hamstring on the side of the arm that you're moving. They need to turn on if they don't, four, everything will move. I've got one more on each side. And then together. Whoo, going big for me. Nice and wide with the arms, but staying over the chest. Just three or four. Is that four? Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I have two more because Julie has two more. Okay. Let's on this set, make sure you straighten your elbows all the way, whether they're back here or up here. Here we go. 20 reps. Push on those feet. Activate your glutes. Remember, if the weights are separated, it's a little bit more challenging. If they're touching, it's a little easier. I like to keep them separate because I feel the difference between my right and my left arm. So I can work that left arm a little bit more. Otherwise, when I put them together, the right arm carries the left a little bit. I think I have four, three. I'm gonna really put those arms way back. Two and one. Yeah, I should have gone heavier. We can start over, just kidding. <laughs> All right, last time with the ball. Abs, oh, I can feel my arms. Ah. Okay, Oop. shlace is untied. I hate these shoelaces. I just come untied. All right, last set. Maybe bring the ball further up to the feet, right? It's further away. You have to really reach up. Five. 
20 reps. Push into the ball, seven with your ankle in your hand. Three, two, and one. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that was a good one. Whew. Oh, how are we feeling, guys? Are we okay? Are we live? How'd you do? How was did you do, Maddie? That was hard. <laughs> yes, it was hard. <laughs> Lucky for you, you can take me to school with you because they're on YouTube. Oh. And you can take me to school and I could do them with you on YouTube. Or you could do them with me, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Oh, I've been telling her that on her own time. Yeah, you and your girlfriends do it. I know, I now have more free time to do stuff like that. So, I need to do that. Yes, you should. Just get it done. <laughs> Take a screenshot and then send it to me so I know you're doing it. Okay. There's your, there's your accountability. Yeah. Mom will give me your phone number and I'll text you every Tuesday and Thursday and make sure you got it done. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. All right, you guys, have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, bye. Thanks, bye.